Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Tampa Honda, of course, in Tampa, Florida. And we actually have a new trim for the Honda Pilot. This is a 2021 Honda Pilot SE, special edition. It falls in between the EXL and the top touring trim. But before we dive into this midsize three row SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So the midsize segment of the auto industry when it comes to SUVs is literally on fire. You have lots of competition, lots of brands are starting to redesign their vehicles or come out with totally new vehicles never seen before. Now with the Honda Pilot, it's been around for a while, redesign is coming, but you know what? Honda felt, let's do a little bit of tweaking, let's do a little bit of change, let's bring out this SE. So we have this sapphire steel metallic paint job, one of the many colors you could choose from, but there's a lot of nice extra touches, not only on the outside, but also on the inside. So let's go ahead, let's find out, is the Honda Pilot SE the SUV you need to be buying over a Telluride, over a Palisade, even the Highlander? Let's go ahead and check it out. Right off the bat, the styling, it's very familiar, it's a familiar face. I, I think that many of us are ready for the redesign, but with some of these touches, who knows, this may be the midsize for you. Right up off the bat, we have that familiar headlight design. I do like the way it wraps around the LED daytime running lamp with the headlight, headlight ramp, wraps around here. The gloss black interlocks perfectly. That's one of the touches. So SE, there's gonna be some fine gloss black touches all over this vehicle. Now, as you work your way down, you do have some flat black. I've always liked the way this part kind of extends. And when they did this redesign of the current Pilot, they did kind of make it a little bit more muscular because it was almost looking like a minivan, like the Honda Odyssey. You have your lower fog lamp, some fake vent action going on here. This is for the horn. So when you blow the horn, the sound could get through. You'll notice this flat gray trim with the flat black, super clean. And this is gonna take a better beating over time. Now, as we come across the front, what are we talking about with this Pilot SE? So you're gonna get gloss black grill, all horizontal, that larger brow interlocking into the headlights. We work our way down, flat black, and on the SE, a little bit more gloss black, just a little sp sprinkling down on this you know, faux skid plate area. But I like the way they carry the same grill design from the side corners into the center section. Now, when we get up onto the hood, You'll notice very short hood for a midsize SUV. Mid meets perfectly with the top of the grill. We come around the bend, you're gonna see some SE specialness here. So these are these gloss black wheels. They're 20 inch wheels, 245 on the width, 50 series sidewall, working really well. This is probably one of my favorite colors, that sapphire steel metallic color. Flat black on the fender treatment, kind of just blends in nicely, gives it a nice cohesive look overall, but I'm, I'm thinking it's a, a really clean setup. Now, as we go, continue down the side, you're gonna get color matched mirror caps, of course, with your LED lighting. There is a standard size sunroof, and you're gonna get these gloss black, low tucked in roof rails to complement that whole SE package. Bright metal work around the top and the bottom, I'm gonna zonk it. I think they should have just went all in and made this gloss black around the top and the bottom. Down below, flat black along that lower sill. And then as we come towards the rear on the Pilot, you get such a good size rear quarter window, brings in lots of light. Because remember, this is three row. There's gonna be people maybe sitting back there. And when we wrap around back, color matched on the shark fin antenna, very, very low. And I'll get that bug out of here. Low roof spoiler. And as we drop down, you got your pilot badge. You can see the same style on the taillights as we have up front. Special edition badge, very tasteful on that. And one thing that really is gonna be a standout besides all this grass here, which technically the grass does, it's not an extra charge that comes free. A lot of, a lot of grass being grown in Florida right now, but you have the gloss black along the rear bumper area with some faux venting which I'm gonna zonk. I don't know why those are there. Just leave it just flat black, just smooth flat black, but a little bit of gloss black to tie everything in. Let's go ahead, let's pop the hood though and see what's powering our particular pilot. All right, guys, we do have the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. It would have been nice on the special edition to have a hydraulic hood strut, but a ton of plastic. Now, underneath that massive plastic cover is gonna be that tried and true 3.5 liter V6 
280 horsepower, 262 pound-feet of torque. It's all made it to that same nine-speed automatic transmission. The Pilot weighs 4,327 pounds, and I don't know if you hear that siren right now, they're actually having a barn burning fire sale here at Tampa Honda. So definitely want to check out the great sales that they're having. But as that siren goes by, it weighs, like I said, 4,327 pounds, zero to 60 in 6.2 seconds. If you're wondering, top speed, 113 miles an hour, MPGs around 19 in the city, 26 on the highway. It's one of those things that going the Honda route, you're getting that tried and true reliability, naturally aspirated V6 power. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what big things are in store for us on this Pilot Special Edition. All right, guys, we're inside the 2021 Honda Pilot Special Edition. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, I've been wanting a, a Pilot for a while. I've been holding off, see what they were gonna come out with. I'm digging this special edition. I like the sapphire steel metallic. How much is this particular special edition pilot? You're looking at MSRP right around $40,000. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels, you get nice soft touch material up top. The bright silver treatment there is wonderful. The armrest is super soft and Honda does one heck of a job with their door pockets. They definitely love snacks. You could put at least four 7-Eleven egg rolls in that top slot. You got a place for a nice bottle of Mr. Pib and a door pocket down there where you could probably put about, I would say, eight tacos from Taco Bell. Now, as you go from the door panel, which is two-tone I like, I like the two-tone they got going on, soft touch material, that dark silver treatment is very, very nice. Let me open up the glove box. You can see what we have in there. Those, that's the key for the wheel locks, but it's a good size. Two boxes of Twinkie side by side, you're good to go. Close it up. Nice flat portion of the dash, and then you're gonna have that familiar eight inch infotainment system screen. You do have a volume knob, which is nice. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, nice easy to touch system. Really super clean, super fast. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it into reverse. We'll see the backup camera. So there's your backup camera. You can go to the different angles, which I always love. It's a little grainy, but you know what? It is very nice to have this clean system. Now I'm gonna go back in a park, and it brings us right back, which is great. Little bit of gloss black, and I'm telling you, you would think there would be uh, glare on the screen. I don't know what Honda does, but they they never have any glare on the screen. So it's it, it's integrated very nicely into this top portion of the dash. Now, as we drop down, you got your start stop button. I like the easy to use climate controls, makes sense. You have your rear AC controls, heated seats, but no ventilated seats. That's gonna be a zonk. If I'm having a special edition, I want ventilated seats. You do have this wonderful little cubby tray here for Easily, I'd say you probably get about 15 fireballs in there, atomic fireballs. It's like, take one of those and then kiss somebody, you'll give them the best kiss they ever had. USB, I'm loving the 12 volt, and you have wireless charging on the special edition. Two cup holders, I like the flat silver. Much better than gloss black, much better than flat black. You do have your push button transmission for that nine speed automatic. We got snow mode to help you get through the snow. You can shut off that pesky auto start stop feature. Key fob, nice universal key fob from Honda. We flip it over, you do have remote start, which is great. I'll put that down. Now what makes this really usable and flexible is that you're gonna have these captain chairs. Now, I don't really love the captain chairs armrests, especially the way they, they have like a ratcheting feature. I, I don't understand why you, I guess somebody out there in the world wants their arm like really high, but you can see how they're not really my favorite when it comes to to use. But you do have plenty of area to put a purse, a bag, a satchel, a sack right here. And then if you don't have a purse, a bag, a satchel, or a sack block in this, this just slides back and you have plenty of room, probably big enough for two softballs, maybe three. If you're done playing with your balls, you can put them in here. You got your 12 volt USB, which is great. I even like the way, look at this, you got a sliding tray in there, a little sliding party tray, which is great. This slides back. Seats, I like the material. The gray works well with the uh, sapphire steel. Nice stitching, comfortable, just not ventilated. That's the one thing that's, that's bumming me out. We do have a sunroof, which is part of that special edition package, which is nice. It's a small size, but hey, at least you get to enjoy some vitamin D up here. But why don't you come over to the business end? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Honda Pilot Special Edition. All right, guys, ready for takeoff in the Pilot. I'm the Pilot. You do have two memory seat settings, which is nice. 
And then seat controls, easy to get to those power seat controls, which is wonderful. Same exact steering wheel, and you're gonna get all that Honda sensing technology. Do like the leather. Flat black on the buttons is fine. A Little bit of gloss. You do have paddles if you wanna shift up and down that nine speed automatic transmission. And of course, like I said, you do have all the safety features that you could imagine on this vehicle. All digital though in the center. So you are gonna have that tachometer, speedometer, and then you have an analog coolant and fuel gauge, which is a nice touch. And then you could toggle through a ton of different information in that center portion, uh, which is really, really great as well. As you can see, you could go through your different functions and features, super clean. You could go ahead and just to go out, show anything. I mean, even like your maintenance tire pressure. Let's see what we got going on. There we go. So it's super clean, easy to use. The buttons, you could keep your hands on the wheel and just use your thumbs nicely. I got plenty of headroom in here. We do have a frameless mirror, which is wonderful, auto dimming mirror. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the mid row and see does the pilot bring the business to this mid-size SUV class? All right, guys, mid-road time. This is where we're really gonna test the flexibility of the pilot. You do have uh, plenty of headroom. I'm gonna close the door. I know Victor hates it when I leave the doors open, but what's nice is we have our peeping Tom security shades, keep the creepers out, put that down really easily. Door panels, like I said, up front, well-engineered in the back, seat mid row area you got your two cup holders and you got a nice size pocket you could probably put two cheeseburgers back there and have a little tray there for some breath mints because after eating some cheeseburgers and all the other junk you're eating your breath may smell so you'll have some breath mints there now you have that nice material all the way around good size pockets they're nice and soft in there so you could put an ipad you're not going to scratch your iphone 46 by putting it in there, so that's good news. And then you have a little command center. You have your two AC vents to blow nice cool air on your knees. You have your AC controls, and then you're gonna have the two USBs conveniently placed right there. What's wonderful about the mid-row in the Pilot is of course, easy to slide. You know, some of these mid-rows, it's like you gotta have a secret door knock. It's like getting into a secret club during the 1920s, you know, like a speakeasy. This though, this is really easy to do. I could do this all day long but we're not. And then to recline the seat, just as easy. Now it does, not as, it does not recline as much as other brands, but still you have that flexibility. And I remember back in the day where you didn't have even seat belts. So now you could actually move your seat around. Almost forgot. And you got an armrest. It's a little low, but you do have plenty of real estate for your actual arms, even though the cup holders are in the center like that. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to that third row and see what Honda brings with the Pilot. All right, guys, that third row, sometimes it's a challenge. Let's see how it goes on the Pilot. Now, what's great is you have these buttons. You just push, just moves right out of the way, which is great. And then you got plenty of real estate. We're going to climb on in. And this is where we're going to see what is it like in this Pilot. So the good news is I got plenty of room for my legs, and, and this seat can actually go forward. The bad news is my knees are a little high compared to the competition. Not too bad, I've, I've, I've had worse, believe it or not. And then you do have your AC vents back here, which I love the way Honda puts them at this nice, almost like shoulder level, rather than sticking them in the headliner. You got plenty of space back here for all sorts of snacks and drinks. The only zonk that I have back here is even though this is a special edition, you're not that special because there's no USBs back here or a USB-C, which would be nice. But other than that, the room is great. And my legs aren't too high. So if you have somebody who's actually shorter than six feet tall, then I think they're gonna be just A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead though, let's check out the cargo area and see what the pilot brings in that area. All right guys, time to get in that cargo area. Now what's wonderful is that with the special edition, it's not just about a fancy badge or some gloss black. You actually have some different technology than your standard pilot. You have that hands-free system, real, one of the best, one of the easiest to use you got your hands full of groceries. Look at what we got. So third row is up. Let's talk about actual numbers when it comes to space. So with that third row up, you're looking at 16.5 cubic feet of space. But you know what? You fold the seats down, you're looking at well over 80 cubic feet of space. And to put the seats down, very, very easy. You're just gonna take the nice tether here. It's just manual. I mean, why does it gotta be any more complicated than that? Boom, nice and flat. You could take this to protect this is gonna protect your back carpet area. We have a nice little cubby. It's about the size of a football. What I could 
what I'm envisioning in that cubby is a bag, a nice big old bag of Doritos. Mmm, some Mr. Pib. Talk about finger licking good. You do have a 12 volt over there, which is great. And knowing Honda, there's going to be some storage. Look at this. This is, you could turn the Pilot into a party wagon. More Doritos, Lay's, Pringles. Get some, like, Enemans cakes and stuff and just throw it all in there. Talk about one heck of a family road trip. Everybody would probably be sick and puking by the end of the trip. But, hey, it would be a fun time with all that food going down. Just not so much fun coming up. But you can see the room that we have now to get the other row to fold down. That's where I'm going to have to come all the way to the side. And now we're going to make the seats go down like that. And it's real simple. You just pull up on the lever. I'm going to give you the full treatment. You guys deserve the best. So I'm going to bring you the best and fold these seats down just the way you want them. You can see nice and flat. Go to Costco. Get yourself the world's largest teddy bear. They have them there right now. Put it back here make somebody happy but while we go ahead i want to make you happy if you're ready i'm ready let's take this pilot for a spin all right guys we're in the 2021 honda pilot this one the special edition we're leaving tampa honda and right away you know i i just love the way the interior is laid out it's it's familiar obviously it's very familiar because they haven't redesigned it in a while but it's easy to figure out how to work the infotainment system the controls on the steering wheel. Visibility is great. They pulled the A pillars apart so far that really, really great visibility out the front. Awesome visibility out the back. You got good side mirrors. I like the way that in the center you have that nice uh, digital display with all that information. Gives it a nice crisp look and it's easy, very, very easy to read, which is great. This is obviously front wheel drive. You can option a pilot with all wheel drive, but ours is front wheel drive. Steering has a nice feel to it. Now you do have sport mode by hitting the drive button again, that actually puts you into sport mode. It's gonna change the parameters of how the transmission and the engine behave with one another and also like throttle response and whatnot. But this does, this does not have adaptive dampers. Going over these speed bumps, what I what I love about the Pilot, it's like a tank. I mean, it's it's rock solid in here. Seats are comfy. I'm just not the biggest fan of those captain's chairs armrests, but you know what? This center console area where the wireless charging is and everything, it's very open and very, very accessible. I think one of the things that I like about driving the Pilot is that it's very, very easy to drive. It, you don't feel the size. It doesn't feel like a super large SUV and very comfortable over this ripped up pavement. Look at that. Soaks it up. No creaks, no rattles, nothing weird with the chassis. Nice and solid. It's one of those things that it's, it's a tried and true platform. And I think that's why many people still find it a popular choice. Now, the challenge is, is that there's a lot of new competition like the Telluride and the Palisade and they're bringing style that's never been seen on a midsize at this price point, plus a lot of amenities. So that's where Honda's gonna have to really figure out what they're gonna do with that whole setup. Do a little acceleration test, I'm gonna put it back into sport mode. On throttle, actually breaking traction there. I'm telling you right now, with that nine speed automatic transmission, look out, this thing does have some get up and go for sure, and it feels faster than what the numbers might say. It's really kind of crazy. Let's do that again, on throttle. I mean, that Tucson had no idea that this pilot would be accelerating like that. Let's try it one more time, one more time. On throttle. Now, the engine is very loud. It's a very loud V6, but you know what? With the power delivery, the torque is super linear, really starts to come in strong at 2000 RPM and just pull all the way up. So that's really good news. And the nine speed shifts fairly smoothly. I really think that they need to eventually make a move to the 10 speed that's in the automatic uh, Accord. But um, I think that the nine speed is still doing the business. I'm gonna expect probably on the redesign there to be a, a 10 speed. All right guys, hopefully this gave you a nice overall feel 
of what the Pilot is still all about now with the special edition trim for 2021. We're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up and get back to Tampa Honda. So I will see you in a split second. All right guys, been another great day here at Tampa Honda. Definitely gotta thank Sam and the rest of the crew getting us this 2021 Honda Pilot special edition. Changes are coming, but I think if you've been wanting a midsize that has that reliability, has some really well-engineered features, the Pilot checks off so many boxes, and really I think with the blacked out accessories kind of makes it a little bit cooler, at least in appearance wise, hands-free tailgate operation, and you have a sunroof. So if you want to keep seeing midsize SUVs like these, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Raise Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Raise Rise merch. Got to get up to Crown Vic. He's out here standing still as can be. There's people coming around him and trying to push him, trying to knock him off his game. But he's saying, heck no, you got to go. So thank you, Vic, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.